All right, we're on the street is Sacramento Kings are on the verge of firing head coach. Excuse me, shoot. Lou Walton, excuse me. So um to pull it up, download this video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, my social media links there. Um has some issues with Marvin Bagley and he been the coach of the Sacramento Kings. Hold on, only for like a couple years. Uh, so uh it's his third season. It's third season, and they ain't had good numbers at all. Um, like I said, he was done as a great coach out there. You know, so uh, Golden State, he took over for a while. Steve Kerr was sick, had a great run. That team practically ran itself. And he got credit for, you know, their success. And got to L.A., most people said, oh, Brian got on fire, this, that, and third. And he also, he had a reason he got fired in L.A. He had a loyalty to Lonzo, Ingram, and – Kuzma, and he would draw stuff up them for them to take the last shot. LeBron didn't like that, so you know that's one of the reasons they fired. You know, you when you form a bond with with players, man, and you and, and they respect. Of course, you're gonna make sure they eat F LeBron. And also, I think this last season, LeBron got injured too. Well, so, let's look at, but uh. Says Sacramento Kings head coach Luke Walton is not making a big deal out of rumors that he on a, he's on a house. He made his team's poor start this season, according to, re, to re, recent report by Sam Amick and Shams of the Athletic. Uh, Walton's job slash will likely be in peril soon if the current slide continues. The Kings are six and eight on the season, heading to Wednesday's game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They won a previous showdown with the Detroit Pistons, though. Uh, they were on a four-game skid. Now speaking to reporters ahead of his match with the Timberwolves, Walton addressed the rumors about the possible firing as well as the team's current defensive wall. After knowledge that their defensive rebounding and finishing off the possessions are what's hurt them. And the Kings' uh, coach played down the talks of his dismissal, emphasized the struggle and hardships are normal for a team trying to build something. So, hold on. Um, you know, there, it's early in the season, but there are already reports about just your, your job maybe being in jeopardy if you guys can't turn this around. And I just wonder what your reaction is to that. And also, you know, the objectives you guys have set out in terms of the defense and avoiding the long losing streaks. Like, what are the barriers right now that, that are preventing you guys from getting there? Yeah, I, I'd say from the, the defensive standpoint, we've, we've made progress. We're a better defensive team uh, than we're showing. Uh, uh, again, it, to me, it's defensive rebounding is finishing off possessions. That's really hurting us defensively from making a, the next jump. Um, and it, a, a lot of it is our offensive turnovers, the live ball turnovers we struggled with. Like that's going to put a lot of pressure on your defensive numbers uh, at the end of the game. So uh, the overall turnovers haven't been terrible, but the amount of live ball, we have to continue to make sure we clean uh, clean that up and then finish possessions with rebounds and we're going to be fine defensively, but we're a much better defensive team right now than we were last season. We're going to continue to uh, trend in that, in, in that direction uh, with the group and how they work. Like the hot seat stuff is the same thing. Jason. I'm not, it's outside. It's look, it, there's the way we build something is go through hard stuff together to continue to work hard uh, as a group. And that's what we do every day. Uh, and, and through that, there's going to be tough times. There's going to be great times. And, and it's our job to stay consistent with it. Um, and, and that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to do now. That's what we did yesterday in practice. And that's what we're going to do going forward. All right. So that was, uh, uh, Sacramento King coach Luke Walton. And at the end of the day, it's the same, keep, keep banging, keep banging until we break through speech. And, um, yeah, that's what he want to do. That's what he want to do. Okay. Uh, like I said before, I don't watch a lot of Kings game, but the talent that they got, it seemed like they should be winning. I mean, they drafted Davion Mitchell, Tyrese Hill, Burton, uh, Buddy Hill, De'Aaron Fox is, you know, should be a star. He'll be all-star if they start winning. I mean, drafted the top two pick in Marvin Bagley. That ain't worked out. So, um, It's baffling. Most people say it could be coaching. Maybe another coach to come in who's better and look at it as a great coach to come in and do the same thing. Sometimes guys don't fit together. It's as simple as that. Sometimes these dudes, they, don't, they, they just don't fit. They got a lot of guards. 
know, if it's Buddy Hill, if it's Fox, if it's Hilburn, it's Mitchell, Mitchell, Hilburn, and Fox. Well, Mitchell Hilburn, Mitchell Hill, well, Mitch Hilburn is they true when they true one. And then they got several scoring guards and and, and Fox and uh the other kid named uh, Buddy Hill. No, Deion Devion Mitchell is a scorer, then you got a shooter and Buddy Hill. So like I said before, I mean, you gotta have a complete team. You know, you got veterans like Harrison Barnes and you know what I'm saying, but uh they really should be trying to get something out of the bag. You know, through the post and working in and out and stuff of that nature. But uh shit, they thought it was their year to break through. A lot of a lot of talent. Tremendous amount of talent. Tremendous amount of talent, bro. You just wonder to yourself. Why it don't work? It probably is. It probably is uh probably is Luke Warden, but you know, he didn't, you know, he didn't rebuild the Lakers. Y'all went on and signed him quick. He's six and nine right now. And um it's got a lot of guards. Yeah, you know, got a couple big guys in there, but got the same guys. We talk about Fox, Hill Burton, Buddy Hill, Mitchell. I mean, you got this, you know. Uh, I gotta actually watch and see, you know, where to disconnect that. But got a lot of the same players. You know, maybe they're not running enough. Maybe you know, the offensive sets not good enough. You get something from Rashad Holmes too now. Oh, mm hmm. Uh, not sure exactly. They young too, bro. I mean, you talk about bag. Even now, play him at twenty two years old and. Terrence Davis at 24 years old. I mean, shit, here's Jamar still 29. Fox 23. Bird, Hill Burton 21. Mark, Mark Maurice Harkins 28. Buddy Hill 28. Rashad Holmes 28. Damian Jones uh, 26. Lewis King 22. Alex Lynn 28. You know, some other dude, Chim Z 24. Uh, Davion Mitchell 23. Namias Kuta 22. Jamuis Ramsey, 20. You know, Tristan Thompson is the elder on the team at 30. And Robert Woodward, the second, 22. I mean, she, they're young. And he might be right about the growing pains and the growing processes, but him being fired it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, they won't resolve. They're not getting results in three years. They want you up out of there. Which, you know, if you can't upgrade with uh, Luke Wall, you should let him stay there and figure it out. Spend all that money on players, you're not getting it done. You know, they're young. You look at it and you don't know they that young. Oh, they're young. You know, they got some veterans and things. They got one guy over 30 years old. And that's it. One guy over 30 years, well, at 30 years old. No guys over 30. You know, so it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thumbs up like the video, share, be subscribe to the channel, share the NBA Talk playlist. More videos like this, one make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal in the description. Appreciate the love, support, everything.